Gemini, welcome back. Welcome to your reading for this beautiful month of love. Of course, this could resonate at any time. These are timeless. All right, so whenever you find this, the message is for you if you resonate, of course. All right, guys, remember that if it doesn't resonate for you, it can resonate for someone else. So please keep that in mind. This can be past, present, or future, but I'm trying to remain into what's currently happening, okay? Let's get one more shuffle there. Thank you guys so much for your beautiful, wonderful comments, your donations. I really do appreciate you all, and I appreciate all that you do in this channel, showing me love, praying for me, donating, you know, whatever it is that is of the highest vibration. I appreciate it. Please hit that like button for me, Gemini. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And hit that notification, guys. That notification bell if you want to know when my readings come out. And let's see what's going on for my Geminis. I'm going to try to go quickly through these. All decks that I use here today will be in the description box below. I have a new deck called Behind the Veil of It All. When it is up for sale, I will place it in the community tab. Okay, I'm waiting on approval. All right. I'll be using it in this reading. All right, guys, let's see what's going on. For my Gemini's past life relationship, you have known each other before. Okay, what else is going on here? We have Winged Seer. You see clearly clairvoyance. Okay, so some of you are clairvoyant. You see clear, okay? These eyes indicate you see deeper into things and into people and into situations. Of course, you are clairvoyant. You are a seer of things. So there's a connection that you foresee or you feel with someone here. All right, or they feel with you. Twelve could be significant. Duality, new beginnings, honing in on your intuition. Three, letting it come to you, okay? The catalytic number okay we have spirit of the river movement toward adventure going with the flow also into this change into this new I want to say era but it's like you're going through some sort of ascension maybe some some of you are going in the dark to see some there's something you see some of you connect with water a lot, but there is something that you're seeing in the deep, deep depth of something that has to do with this past life connection. But you're allowing yourself to go with the flow, letting the messages come to you as well. Okay, let's look at the bottom here. Okay, we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Some of you could be in this energy or you're seeing that somebody else is forgiving and learning and maybe you're just looking at a distance, feeling them energetically at a distance because you know there's things that they have to heal. Okay. All right. Bottom of the deck here. Death and the Maiden. We just had this in Taurus. It says invasion, boundaries, violated, and dominance. Okay, so you seeing something here that has so whoever you have a past life connection to could be in a karmic situation and you're seeing what's happening there. Okay, it could be with somebody very dominating here. Some of you could have Taurus in your chart. I would check that out. Um, and then yeah, completion, closing door number five. A lot of change here. So somebody could be going through the void here, where. They understand that they were always the light, where there's irreversible insight, the incubation phase, time of change, learning, seeing things from a deeper and higher perspective, okay? And after um, some sort of, I mean, we have forgiving and learning. The reason somebody here was in this connection in the first place is because they had to heal something from the past, any past traumas, okay? So, okay. All right. Let's see what else we got, Gemini. So let's get into the Tarot of Grand Lux. 
That's all the Nine of Pentacles. So somebody is single here. Three. Going with the flow. I'm hearing, keep hearing that song. Like a river. Like a river. One more shuffle. Ooh. Somebody could be feeling passionate about you. New beginnings abound. Abound. Six of Wands. Okay. Somebody could be feeling victorious. Somebody could be in the public eye. Or somebody's admiring you. Ooh, five of Swords. Okay, so there is jealousy here. Could be rumors, shit talking, shit, you know. Somebody could know who you are. Somebody could be jealous that you know a lot, that you're clairvoyant. Um, they could be trying to shut you up, make you look bad, make you look like a liar here. Um, of course, I mean, you, you, you did see somebody's dealing with somebody that is dominant here. Whoa. What happened here? Yeah. Somebody's dealing with somebody that's dominant, oversteps their boundaries, and violates their boundaries, and invades, you know, they're invasive, meaning there could be clinger, they just show up, they argue. It's like just this abrupt, immature energy. So somebody knows that you're a psychic or or you have clairvoyancy here. You're clairvoyant and you can see th through their bullshit. So this would be the kind of person that projects and makes you look some type of way. And makes you, you know, out to seem like you're lying. So you could be trying to or have tried to give this other person that you're spiritually connected to some sort of insight about who they're with. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Okay. Yeah, somebody has been through the mail. What is the energy of this person? Eight of Pentacles. So your person is in the Eight of Pentacles. And you are the Empress. So <laughs> there you go. Somebody is jealous because you are standing your right. You embody all queens. You are the Empress in a clairvoyant one. Okay you attract people are attracted to you so of course this person in their low vibration is going to try to make you look some type of way because they know that people are attracted to you who you are and how you carry yourself what is the heart of the matter here new beginnings abound taking a leap of faith somebody may look at this person as foolish for wanting to be with you but there's a deeper connection here only that you only the two of you need to understand you could be very different than what this person is used to because you are clairvoyant and spiritual somebody could have um, I'm getting deja vu also somebody could have tried to say that you use your energy to manipulate this person not true you have a spiritual connection here it's right here Bottom of the deck, there's movement forward anyway, so there could be travel involved, but definitely communication coming in here. Eight of Wands. Yeah, somebody's ready to court you, ready to ask you out is what I feel like. But guess who's on their tail? Knight of Swords. This person that could care less about their boundaries. They're trying to stop this person <laughs> any which way they can. Because they want to give to you. Ten of Cups. It's justice. It's justified. Okay. Yeah, this is over. There's the end of a marriage, the death card, with justice, and the four of wands, with the devil. Oh, gosh. No wonder. Oh, with the magician? Damn. So this is what's going on. There's distance here. This was going on, you know, back at the ranch here, with the devil, the magician. A very, 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 very manipulative person. But that's over. Justice. Ooh, somebody could... Mm, for somebody here, they, there could be a car accident. There could be a uh, fight. And somebody takes off. And then somebody takes off behind them. And then something, something could happen here. Okay? So, you know, just... just whoever is dealing with that person, please be careful. 
<sighs> but for others of you, this is just the end of something, and this person cannot stand that this is over and that you're getting your way. But this is a connection that's out of their control. You're meant to be with this person, not them. So, you know, you, you can't, f I don't know, understand why people want to force connections that aren't meant to be. Clearly, it's because something there, they're clinging on to, whether this is, um, you know, fame, fortune, something that, that they don't want to lose here. <coughs> and clearly, they don't want you to experience or have. But for you, it's not about the material or the fame. It's about the connection, whatever that is, you know. You know, I don't know if it's fame, but maybe for some of you, but popularity, you know, whatever this is. But for you, it's not about that. You're the empress. Wow. All right. Let me get into my deck behind the veil of it all. Yeah, we got hidden enemy, low vibration, out for sale. Stuck in the matrix and the matrix mentality. All right, let's see what's going on here. There it is. Disturbed, acting out of traumas, and learned behavior. Yeah, definitely some of you could have Taurus in your chart, or you're dealing with a Taurus. Yep. Arguments, trouble in paradise, don't let the appearances fool you. Oh, look at that. Wow. Devil's Advocate, Seven Sins, Dark Energy. Expresses the views and wishes of the shadows. So there you go. This right next to disturbed. This person got issues. They express the views and wishes of the shadows. This person is like narcissistic. Whoever's dealing with that person. They don't want this person going nowhere. Yeah, but you guys are having telepathy because there's a past life relationship here. Okay, this definitely could be your twin. Psychic communication, I feel you more than ever. Soothing, taken by a healing sensation. There's a healing sensation between you and this person. Okay, you could definitely feel this when you have telepathy or, or astral travel experiences and connecting through the dream state. This was one of the cards I had to um, change this card out, unfortunately, in my deck because when I went for it to approve, they didn't approve of this one, I guess. Because I don't have, there was like two other ones that I didn't change the card, but I altered it in a way where, you know, if it was a problem, um, you know, I, I altered it. But I figured this one was like the major one, even though you can't really see anything there. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> so this one will be different in that deck when it goes up for sale. Um, so we'll see. I'm still waiting on that approval. Let's see what happens after the change. Um, all right, let's look at the bottom here. Yeah, we have re okay. So somebody's watching you online. Okay, we have relations. They want to have relations with you. It says intrigue, fascination, wonders, and inexplicable. Okay. We have night out, letting your hair down. Okay. Some of you are just you know going out, being free. Free spirit, bound to no one, independent, and non-attachments. Okay. Some of you need to go out, have some fun. Alright. Somebody may want to go out with you also is what I'm seeing. 
Okay, so whoever you're connecting to here, your twin, your high-level soulmate, whoever this is, they want to ask you out. They, they are turned on, though. They are thinking about sex. Okay. Yeah, this could be somebody in the public eye for some of you. Because we have audition, tryouts, it's your moment, make it count with chess. Some of you are also, are also could be getting an opportunity here. It says chess, you're about to make your best move yet. Wow, and somebody could have been dealing with somebody that's uncouth, rude, strange, rugged, lack of manners, sophistication, and possible alcoholic. This could be a male or female. Yeah, this person's trying to steal, okay? It says thief, theft, failed attempts to hack accounts, steal information, and or property. Okay, so this person could be trying to hack their phone. They could be trying to make fake accounts, or they're watching you through fake accounts because they want to know if this person has come to you yet. Yeah, whoever that person is that's disturbed, deserted, saboteur, deliberately damages, destroys, and tries to weaken their enemy, no divine protection. Okay, so no divine pro Ooh. Here we go, Archangel Raguel. Fairness, harmony, justice but vengeance upon violators of the law. So Archangel Raguel is on this person's ass. They're, they're watching this person right here. Vengeance upon violators of the law. This is a spiritual law that this person's violating. And other laws as well in the 3D, clearly. Someone is curious about your hidden talents and gifts. Okay, that could be the audition tryout that's coming out. So I don't know. You could be getting an opportunity. If this person works in the public eye, they may, you know, want to work with you. Or it could just be, you know, a job opportunity. They may want to work with you. Yeah, this person got some issues. Anger, ego trip, feeling defeated. Yeah, Knight of Swords. Trying to go behind this person to see where the hell they're going. This person trying to balance their emotions here. It says balancing, I'm drowning my sorrows and balancing my emotions. Hmm. Oh Lord, oh Lord. People just be going crazy. Alright. Let's get some more cards here. I'm gonna use my Dimensions Oracle. Yeah, some of you are like spiritual teachers, spiritual leaders, or you're in your purpose. Okay, it says intellectual, mature, forthright, and supportive with the Hierophant, tradition, obedience, spiritual teacher, guidance. Okay, you get your guidance from the Most High, from the spirit realm. Clearly, you're clairvoyant here. This person is just, you rub this person's demons the wrong way. This karmic, whew. She losing grip. She never had him in the first place. That in the right way. It was all fake. Him or her. There it is. Return to sender. Misfortune and bad luck. So if they went up against you, they went up against the wrong one. Because you're protected. Vacation, hideout, secret getaway. This person could be hiding out from this person. Oh, Lord. Uh, they could be wanting to come close to you. Because I do see this person wanting to court you here. Yeah, head in the clouds, absent and distant. So definitely this person could be hiding out. Trying to heal and connect to you in the 5D. Yeah. Yeah, this person, you know, they had on a mask and, and they were, you know... They were in a low vibe, and they had a fake persona, and it says, play with fire, you're bound to get burned. So they did. Yeah, this person's following this person, because this person's about to reach this key. It says, envy, desire, and lurker. Okay? That's this karmic energy. But the key is here, yeah, faith in the unknown. It says, crossing the threshold in order to manifest your heaven on earth. Faith in the unknown, one is not like the other. Like the other. We already opened that door. That was a stormy experience. Now we're here. 
with the rainbow sunshine and butterflies over here okay transformation a much better connection nothing to do with you know your childhood traumas here okay Uh, let's see. Let's get some messages here from Dawn of a New Day. And for some of you, if it's not a partner, it could even be a child or a family member. Okay. I can see clearly now. I can see clearly now. The rain is gone. I'm trying to protect you. I don't want to bring you any drama. Yeah. I, I can imagine that person is very dramatic. I don't know how they last it. I don't trust this karmic. There you go. Mm-hmm. I know you are God sent. I couldn't be more grateful. Okay? So they know. You are God sent. And they're no longer interested in that karmic situation. Shit, I wouldn't be either. Yeah, I'm so fed up with the karmic's drama. They're bringing them so much drama right now. And I want, or, or you, whoever's in that situation. Yeah, they want a chance with you. And again, when they were in the fake persona wearing a mask, you know, they were in their ego. Ego turned into fear, into pride, and into anxiety. I didn't know how to get out of my own way. Trust in me, I'm not easily swayed by naysayers, but I'm pretty sure they were at some point. But they can see clearly now. Okay, so now that these people, five of swords, there's people talking shit about you, going against you, because you're clairvoyant, and you would, you would totally see... Who these people really are and what they've done behind this person's back as well so they know that you are clairvoyant so they go up against you and talk shit about you and say you're this that and the third and project their negative energy which is clear he clearly here so that this person didn't trust what you had to say but clearly they see clearly now okay so says I don't know what holds me back especially when I know that I want you but it's clearly that there's still some car uh, drama going on yeah it says the separation feels like a lifetime okay yeah I can see you're full of surprises and meeting of the minds this could mean full of surprises with what you say do post whatever this is yeah they see you as a goddess you're definitely a goddess, God, in every sense of the word. And I know we would have a blast together. Yeah, they do think about how it would be like to be with you. I can only imagine what a night with you would feel like. That doesn't mean one night. Okay. So this is somebody you haven't um, had sex with yet. And I know this love is one of a kind. And yeah, they're starting to see certain people around them for who they really are. Okay. And it says, if I could go back by you, if I could go back and do right by you sooner, I surely would. Yeah, they were stubborn and rebellious. I can be stubborn sometimes and rebellious when I don't want to face my truth. But it's always been you. No one else does it quite like you. And you are a gift and a blessing in their life. They want you to know that. If you only knew how much you you really mean to me. Okay. Let's just get a few cards here. Current energy. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. Yeah, this person definitely wants to ask you out. They want to talk, you know, or they could be talking to their friends right now. Yeah. Yeah, they could be talking to their friends at this time. I just saw the card at the bottom of the deck that said needs more time healing. 
I think that's what fell. Let me see. Oh no. Okay. Okay, what fell is paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. And this union, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Yeah, endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. That's what's up. Yeah, that person was a snake. Com competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Yeah, she's been looking over your shoulder, her shoulder, and looking at you. But she's the snake. She or he. All right. Let's get you a question here, and then we're done. I'm trying to be quick with these readings, because I know not everybody has time to watch our readings. What changes should I commit to making in order to achieve my goals? What changes should I commit to making what changes should I commit to making in order to achieve my goals? Um, well definitely leaving the situation behind which is already here. Let's see what else. Just have fun. Okay, sun in reverse, but you know, have as much fun as you can at this time. Try to forget about this situation. Be a be a nonconformist, the Hierophant. Be more open-minded, open to new perspectives, open to new things, because you're you're different. And listening. Yeah, the Tower, a narrow escape. Okay. Hmm. And yeah, Page of Pentacles. Understanding that this person has no follow through or a narrow escape with no follow through. Let's get one more there. Yeah. Don't keep don't, what I'm getting here. If you want to get out of the situation, stop entertaining it in a way where they feel like you're still with them. Okay, if if whoever's with that devil karmic, <laughs> whoever that is, yeah, so that you can come out of the woods. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because this person is running out of ideas. Ace of Swords in reverse. Slowing down. Okay. A risky endeavor, lack of direction. Okay, but there's Two of Cups, a loving connection with emotional mastery. Okay, so this person just doesn't... What I feel is they don't know how to approach the situation with you okay what should I do what changes should I commit to making in order to achieve my goals definitely stop entertaining this be more nonconformist don't be so traditional be open-minded have fun go with the flow and in order to come out of the woods with this situation stop following through on any don't make fake promises to this person because they take it to heart Okay, and they run with that shit. Um, there's a narrow escape because this person is, is crazy. They're not letting this, you know, this is over, but they, to them it's not over. Okay, to that crazy person, that karmic. So they see this as a risky situation because of all this drama they're in. Um, so they have lack of ideas here, lack of direction. But they, they know they want it with the King of Cups upright, emotional mastery, and Two of Cups a loving connection. Yeah, they can see clearly now, right? Seven of Cups, clarity of thought. And Queen of Pentacles, consummate 
hostess. Yeah, I'm hearing hospitable. Just be hospitable when it comes to this person that you're connecting with. Go with the flow and don't pay attention to this person that keeps they because their tactic is trying to keep you in this drama and in their life somehow some way so stop following through on their messages or their you know whatever it is they're trying to do to keep you stuck whoever's in that situation all right with the karmic all right guys that's what i have gemini let me know in the comments if anybody resonates my goodness i wish you guys the best and i'll talk to you later peace